Hello everyone, I'm Ashok. Welcome to another video on Machine Learning and Data Science Terminologies series. So in this video, we look at S-curve or sigmoid curve. This is the one we use for as an activation function neural network and also in logistic regression for binary classification. We look into what is this S-curve, maybe a derivation and then we will actually understand how we use it for machine learning applications. Okay. So S curve we get by equating a, a logit, a linear equation to a logit function. Logit over the probability is equal to um, linear equation. Y is equal to mx plus c. So mx plus c. Considering it just a, a one variable or if you have multiple variables, this can be written as a1x1 plus a2x2, so on and so forth, plus b. That's a linear equation. A linear equation usually has, if you try to draw it, because it's it's a it's, it's a line equation. So you'll have uh, <coughs> infinite. Basically, there is it goes from minus infinite to plus infinite if you vary the x values. The y value goes from minus infinite to plus infinite. Um, the goal is to, for example, so if you have a probability as an output, the probability values are between 0 and 1, okay. So it doesn't, ma doesn't make any sense if you have a line passing through it and uh, it's, not, it, it's not fitting your, your car. It would be nicer if you have a curve like this which is called as actually s curve it looks like an s so s curve all right and thereby we could actually use it by defining a threshold we can say if the probability is more than 0.5 then we can say one is your uh, uh, output and less than 0.5 we can make it as a, a zero as an output so it can be used as a binary classification also it can use as triggering or not triggering a neuron a neural network okay Okay, that being a bit more detailed. So let me just equate this and get it done. So logit function is actually a uh, 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 log of odds. Odds is another convention in probability. So uh, it's like if you say the probability of winning a game is 25%, uh, you write it as 1 by 4 is a probability or 0.25. So when you say there's a 25% chance of winning, it basically means if you play four games, there is a one game you win. That's that's a probability. Okay. If you want to write it in an odds notation, you write like uh, one is to three. So one is to three is for every one winning, you lose three times. Well, both are same. Here I'm saying out of four times playing, one time you win. Here I'm saying for one winning, you lose uh, three times. Is both are actually the same notation. So when you want to equate it, your odds notation is equal to 1 minus uh, p by 1 minus p. So let's take this itself. So if, if, you, um, if you say, this can be also written as 1 by 3. So if you say 1 by 4, if you put 1 by 4 over here, 1 by 4, 1 minus 1 by 4, it basically translates to 1 by 3, which is the odds notation. So by equating a logit of the probability to a linear equation like a1 x1 plus a2 x2. So we could actually convert the probability, we can actually derive the p and that should be sigmoid function. A quick derivation, this can be written as log of p by 1 minus p because uh, logit is essentially a log of odds. So odds is nothing but p by 1 minus p is equal to i'm going to call this entire thing as simply z because uh, you know it's, it's such a big equation so i'll call it as z you take an exponential both sides exponential of log of p by 1 minus p is equal to e to the power of z and then e and log because it's a natural logarithm gets cancelled so it results in p by 1 minus p is equal to e to the power of z if you do a bit of um, algebra you can get this this side and p is equal to e to the power of z 1 minus p and then uh, get the e to the power of z inside and get this this side e to the power of z if you take a common plus 1 plus p 
is equal to, e to the power of j. So this essentially leads you to p is equal to okay, let's take a minute. Oh, p is common, sorry. P e to the power of j. So essentially p is equal to e to the power of j by 1 plus e to the power of j. And you could take um, you could divide the entire equation uh, numerator and denominator by e to the power of j that results in 1 by 1 plus e to the power of um, because this e to the power of j, e to the power of j get cancelled by the e to the power of j. So you can write this as 1 by 1 plus e to the power of minus j. And this is your sigmoid function. This is your sigmoid function. So if you look at this, uh, when j tends to, because j is a linear equation, it can go from minus infinite to plus infinite. All right. So if, if your j is actually If your z is tending towards minus infinite, your sigmoid function here, the sigmoid function will, you know, if you put this is your sigmoid function, if z tends to minus infinite, so this basically minus of minus become plus, e to the power of infinite is infinite, 1 by infinite is actually 0, then the sigmoid function probability tends to 0. When z tends to infinite, so this is actually 1 by e to the power of z. Uh, when it z tends to infinite, 1 by infinite, this term, entire term will become 0. 1 by 1, e tends to 1. So you are line equation, which actually tends from um, infinite to infinite, now is being kind of squashed between uh, plus 1, 1 and 0, which is the probability. And this is what we call it as yes curve or sigmoid curve. Okay, and uh, we can do it in in Python by using SQLint. So let me just quickly um, define a function. So with the same, I will say zig is equal zig. I'll pass on the x, and then um, I'm going to say return. So let me import numpy. You can import numpy just for import numpy as np, I also import and as pd, okay, I'm gonna say return, what was it, it is uh, 1 by 1 plus e to the power of j, so I can say 1 divided by 1 plus, again, np dot exponential to the power of minus x, because uh, this x is actually uh, the, the input value which you're giving. Okay, so this becomes your a sigmoid function and uh, I can just generate a bunch of uh, x values set it across and capture that as a y value which is a probability value. So I'm, I'm going to say x is equal to np, I'm going to use lane space and I'll say from let's say minus 10 to plus 10, I can use any numbers, you know, 100 points between that, I'm going to say y is equal to um, sigmoid y is equal to sigmoid of uh, x so I got all of your sigmoid values uh, or the, the result of the sigmoid function into y and x I'm going to simply plot it from matplotlib matplotlib pi plot as plt plt Oh, okay, I have to do this as well. Percentage matplotlib in line plt dot. I can scatter plotting. Say x comma y. So that's your sigmoid curve. So we essentially uh, taken the x input values from minus ten to ten uh, plus ten, passed it to a, a sigmoid function, which is defined over there and it's squashed into uh, S curve, okay? <clears throat> so pretty few lines of course. So where do you use it? Sigmoid function is, is actually the at the heart of your logistic regression. So if you look at the logistic regression, uh, the formula for logistic regression, uh, the heart of logistic regression is sigmoid function. probability which is why this is a sigmoid function all right and used as a binary classifier 
uh, when you fit any data to the sigmoid function, this is one, this is zero. Let's say this is your S curve. We have a default threshold of 0.5. So if there is any out, any of the data which gets a probability more than 0.5, we simply say it as a one as an output. If it is equal to or less than 0.5, we say zero as an output. So it's acting as a binary classifier. In neural networks, these act as an activation function. It's a binary activation function between zero and one. It requires a bit of neural network fundamental, but uh, the two popular activation functions is ReLU and sigmoid, and it, it does a, the, the activation function, um, act as activation function in a neural network. Okay, so that's a, the that's a sigmoid function. Uh, if you have any further questions, you can leave it on the comments. I'll be more than happy to answer them. Thank you very much. And uh, if you like the channel, please subscribe and click notification. I'll see you in the next video.